Welcome to Accounting 472, Intermediate Accounting 2 for the Spring 2016 semester. In this video, I'm going to actually give you a course overview. We are going to review the syllabus and the course schedule. Please note that you should have hopefully viewed the Canvas orientation uh, video that kind of shows you how to explore um, our course within Canvas. So right now I am in Canvas, and if you select courses and you select this particular course, 472, it will automatically take you to the syllabus page. And you see here are syllabus files. I have both of these files open, the actual um, Word document for the syllabus and the Excel document with our class schedule. So we're going to start with the syllabus file here. And basically what I want to do in this video is kind of orient you to our syllabus and kind of give you the main areas that you need to be aware of. So first and foremost, I wanted to let you know of at, that this is a fully online course, but these are my office hours. I will be in the office from 2 to 3.30 in, um, on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and that is my cell phone number. I'm sorry, that's my office number and my cell phone number, 724 590 nine one six four so feel free to contact me at either one of those numbers to um, get a hold of me and oh, let's go back up a little bit so here's our course description directly from the bulletins more importantly here is our required materials you should have this book this is the same textbook that we used last semester in fall 2015 uh, for 471. So you should have the book already and you should have the McGraw-Hill Connect access. And the access when you purchased it should have been for I think over 400 days. So you should have plenty of time to get through this course and you have the book already. The textbook website, I wanna bring this to your attention. This is very important. Please bookmark this site because this is where you will see our narrated slides. And if you recall in our Canvas video, I actually created those links for you for each of the slides. And I highly recommend that you go to that, especially the narrated slides, because I've put the PowerPoints in Canvas, and then you can kind of have that lecture. But of course, if you need any additional help, I'm always here. So our structure, as you know from Canvas orientation video, that's where we are, that's going to be our learning management system this semester and going forward. Penn State has moved to Canvas. That is our login page. You can click any one of these two links and that will take you to it. Make sure you log in with your Penn State credentials Oops. and then you should be okay to get into that. I've also included the help desk information here in case you need it. Again, these are both hyperlinks, so feel free to link to click on those links and you should be able to get there. Uh, technological requirements, pretty much a standard laptop will get you in, no problem. Canvas is our main platform, so that's where all your emails will be, course announcements, reminders of the upcoming uh, deliverables that are due and the deadlines. Also, there's discussion forums, so if you have any questions, we can ask for it there and we can help each other. Then note that McGraw-Hill Connect, that is where your homework your Learn Smart, your quizzes and your exams, that's where it's going to be. You should be pretty familiar with this. It's very similar to what we did in 471. The only variance in this semester is that this is fully online. Email is probably the best way of getting a hold of me. So please email me. This is my email address, vcp3 at psu.edu. And if you include this in the subject line, Accounting 472 Spring 2016, I have rules within my Outlook that that will put that right at the top of my inbox, so hopefully you'll get an answer right away. Then we have discussion uh, boards, as I mentioned earlier, and this is where if you have any questions, I would love for you to post them there. We can help each other out. So each module covers um, a chapter, and then the discussion board hopefully is a conduit in which you can ask questions, ask questions of your classmates if you're struggling through some of the material, or myself. I have actually subscribed to each of those discussion boards, so as soon as there's a post, I'll get an email and hopefully answer you very expeditiously to resolve any questions you have. So our, all of our assignments are in McGraw-Hill Connect, as I mentioned earlier. And then here goes a whole listing of our assignments. And so here we have 10 points for each homework assignment, or there's 11 chapters, so 11% of your grade. There will be no late homework accepted. Uh, basically, please stay 
current. Do not procrastinate because this class moves quite quickly, especially in an online environment. Should you miss a homework assignment, email me if it's for any extraneous situations. Of course, I'm understanding, but please just don't fall behind because I really think if you do, that just makes it worse. Learn Smart there, it's, it's five points. Uh, there is no makeup opportunity for Learn Smart because this is supposed to facilitate our discussion forums. So as you're going through the Learn Smart, which is an interactive smart book, hopefully you are gathering questions or you're understanding the material or you have some qu um, queries and you will post them in our discussion forum so we can address them. Moving on, oops, we have our quizzes and that's also in... Um, uh, in, in Connect, and that's 10 points, and again, 11% of your grade as well. So pretty much pretty standard uh, from what we were doing in 471. So again, no late quizzes are accepted. I really urge you to keep current and up to date on all of this information. Here we go and we have our exams and our Learn Smart and our homework and how they're all graded. So that, and that, that is actually the weights in the Canvas gradebook. So all of this are in the Canvas gradebook. I am taking your grades from McGraw-Hill Connect, and then I am transferring them to Canvas, and Canvas is where your actual final grade will be housed. And our typical grading scale, and here we go, the gradebook is in Canvas, so I just wanted to bring that to your attention again. Our exams, there we have four exams, and they can consist of multiple choice questions, short answer problems, or comprehensive problems. As we approach the exams, I will give you the format and give you guidelines to hopefully hone in your studying. Due dates. All of the due dates are in Connect. You will also see them in Canvas. After you've reviewed the Canvas orientation video, I've included the due dates in both places for your ease. Now, since this is a fully online course, I have Netiquette guidelines, which is just basically a rule for you to behave online. Obviously, I want this to be a safe online learning environment, and basically, these are just some guidelines, you know, not to dominate any discussion, give other students the opportunity to participate, uh, you know, don't use all caps because that insinuates shouting, never make fun of someone's ability uh, to read or write. So just kind of be courteous to one another. So these are just reminders for you. Our academic integrity policy, this is directly from Penn State, so make sure that you review that. Uh, and if you, there are students with disabilities, this is the information that you have to contact and who. And then our McGraw-Hill Connect exercises, obviously an E would be for exercises and a P is for problems. And I basically have this schedule here in um, Excel that we're going to go over. So we'll, we'll actually go over it in Excel. So that is this piece. And now if we move to that schedule and we try to make this a bit bigger so you can see it hopefully. We have our schedule and basically each week with the chapter we're covering and the Learn Smart is due on Wednesday. So Learn Smarts are due Wednesday and the homework and the quizzes are due Sunday. So basically you have three um, items due at all times. And then if you look here, we have our, again, our grading. So we have our exams, our Learn Smart, our homework and our quizzes. So then once you go here, we have chapter 13 and then our exam and our exams are due Sunday. So they are due um, on Sunday. So due Sunday. And there are three, there are four exams. So you see that we, we have an exam right before spring break. Then we have an exam. And then actually on um, April 25th, we will have our last exam. There is not a cumulative final. So I'm sure you are all rejoicing in that. It's only going to cover the last two chapters. So this concludes my lecture on our syllabus overview. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me or post them in our discussion forums. Let's make it a great semester.